Hello, welcome to this video. As you've probably known, I have been on the hunt for some good taping recently, and I've been I'm still on the hunt for some good taping and possibly affordable taping as well. Um, such as you know the one in Nampong coffee store in Jurong, Taman Jurong, but um, uh, that aside, you know, apart from hunting for some good taping, I've also been hunting for some good food recently. I thought I would never want to, I, I thought I, I never actually take a very big interest in uh, hunting for food, uh, especially in food, food in uh, hawker centers and whatnot, but that's what I've been doing recently. And uh, I've been recently uh, fascinated and uh, very, very invested in uh, food that's from hawker centers, food centers. Uh, yeah, especially these types of places, they are more authentic. And uh, usually the food, the good food is always there. Or, or at the very least, coffee shops in your neighborhood and whatnot. You know, they, they, there are some good food. Although coffee shops are a bit more of a, a price if you think about it. Uh, but, you know, may not be affordable, but at least it's good food in a sense. You know, a, a bit a price, but uh, in coffee shops. I mean. But there are a few stalls, such as this one that I'm going to start talking about, um, that actually sell pretty good. I wouldn't know if, I, I'm not too sure if it's affordable for your standards, but, uh, you know, $4 for chocolate tail potentially. Uh, and it's really, really good. And uh, I think you know where I'm going with this. Uh, but before that, uh, I wanted to put I want to put out a disclaimer that uh, the food that I describe here and there, or rather all these stalls I describe, are in uh, different places in Singapore, obviously. And uh, and the disclaimer basically is that I may not describe these uh, food very well, so it may not really sound very convincing. Uh, to you to go and try these foods out, but hopefully, not, nonetheless, you know, may, hopefully it's kind of worth the try, at least with um, the pricing that I mentioned and whatnot, and, or, and, and the food that I, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll try my best to describe the food. So, basically, uh, today I wanted to actually recommend some of my favorite food places uh, that you can go to uh, within this country of Singapore, that's right. Um, some of them are in coffee shops, some of them are in, uh, uh, most of them are in the food centers, I would say. Uh, but yeah, let, let, let's, uh, let's start off. Let's start off with the northeast section. That's right, the northeast region, I mean, um, of Singapore, uh, because that's uh, the general area that I live at, uh, live in. So I, uh, I'm actually going to recommend one stall, one or two at least, one at least, or up to two stalls for each of these regions that I'm going to uh, uh, talk about. So within the Northeast region, uh, we have the Armenian Street Chakwitao, which I was uh, alluding, uh, kind of, uh, you know, transitioning to this uh, stall to talk about. The Armenian Street Chakwitao. Uh, this one, I think, is a no-brainer. It is clearly a go-to recommendation. I'm probably... I'm probably sure some of your friends or whatnot may have actually recommended uh, recommended to you to go and check out this uh, store as well, Armenian Street Chocolate Tail. Uh, it is a really, it's really good chocolate tail at $4. Uh, I think it's $4. I, yeah, $4, $4 for the smallest. Or oh, I think it's $4.50 now, the last time I went. Uh, although it's literally quite, uh, um, you know, nearby, but uh, I, I can't, I can't remember what the pricing is, but I think it was $4.50 now, right? So it's really, it's really good. This one is really good. Um, it's a rather like a walkie, kind of, kind of like very, uh, not very, but a bit walkie style. Uh, of course, it's more of the drier type. And, you know, this one is, um, at least for, from the experience that, uh, the time that I ate this chocolate, it was uh, a, a, a slight, a slight hint of spice, I'd say, um, but it's not too spicy. I'd say it's, uh, I'd say it's really, uh, you know, it, it, it's tolerable. It's a tolerable spice, which, in fact, I wouldn't say it's like very, again, it's not spicy. Uh, it's like, it's tolerable, okay, so it's okay. Um, so, yeah, they're yeah, pretty generous uh, with the, 
uh, they're, they're pretty generous with the amount of uh, uh, the, the, with the portion that they give for the chocolate Kui Tiao. So I'm pretty satisfied with that as well. So obviously this one is a big um, recommendation. Uh, I I do recommend this one, uh, the Armenian Street Chocolate Kui Tiao. Uh, I think it's all, you, you may have heard of this recommendation before and I think it's definitely worth trying out. Even the uh, MP for uh, for that uh, area where this stall is, <laughs> he, he even also went to try it out and, and he seems very much uh, also recommends the chocolate tower as well. So yeah, anyway, uh, the next one that I want to recommend within the Northeast uh, is the London Grill Japanese and Western Food. This is actually a stall which I've actually mentioned before in the taping recommendation video. Um, because it's within located within the same place that uh, where the taping is, and I mentioned that it's a really um, tasty, impressive uh, amount of food you can get from this, um, uh, especially with the four fifty, especially with the four dollar fifty um, uh, uh, food. What is it called? The curry chicken set, I think, uh, which is which costs four dollar fifty. It's a pretty big plate. Uh, they give you a uh, chicken. Of course, they give you chicken. <laughs> the The curry is very nice, uh, fill, uh, a very nice fill, feel to it rather. Um, curry is very nice, feel. Uh, potato very nice, feel. Uh, rice also very tasty as well. Uh, I mean everything is also very tasty within that plate. Uh, coleslaw, they also have coleslaw as well. I'm trying, I'm trying to recall um, some of the uh, things that they offer within the plating. Um, fries. They also do have fries because, of course, Western food within this stall as well. Western cuisine, in a sense. So that's that's the idea here. So I also recommend to check out this one, London Grill Japanese and Western Food. Uh, it is really, really good. It's tasty. Um, and it is, in fact, it is value for money, I'd say. It is pretty affordable for uh, $4.50 at such a pricing. A lot of other places, they sell this um, uh, Don especially the, the, the don, curry don, um, chicken katsu don, I mean, uh, and whatnot. They sell at like five, six dollars, so a, a little bit more price, seven dollars potentially. <laughs> um, so this one is rather the more affordable one within the area. This is not in the uh, food center, of course. Uh, as I mentioned, this is in the uh, same place as the taping stall that I mentioned, which is the Chun Heng's place. That's right, so it's within the same location as well. Yeah. So, moving on to the North region. That's right. The North region um, has uh, pretty good uh, food too. Uh, some of these, I, I realize some of these, uh, a few of these, I would say a few of these stalls that I will be recommending um, are actually uh, good Taifan stalls. Uh, possibly affordable. Uh, but yes, good Taifan stalls. Um, this, which is this one in the North as well, which is located at Marsling Mall Hawker Centre. Uh, you got to look for this uh, stall that's the uh, unit number 154. Um, it's called Lian Xiang Cai Fan Stall. And uh, the Lian Fan Cai Fan Stall, uh, Lian, Lian Xiang Cai Fan Stall, uh, this is the one at the uh, one uh, unit 154. Uh, I, I labeled here, it's called Piping Hot and Fresh Food. Uh, which is uh, which should be the standard for all the uh, Taifun stores when you go there for lunch or dinner, you know, because it's, it's freshly prepared. The that day I actually ate, uh, I think, uh, what do you call that? I, I ate this, uh, I ate Taifun, yes. Uh, broccoli, I think, I can't remember, I think it's broccoli, veg, uh, green leaf vegetable, um, and I think it was just normal pork, but it, uh, normal meat, pork, I suppose, uh, pork chop, it's not pork chop, pork, it's just pork slices, I'd say, uh, but it, it's really good, and it, this one is actually, in fact, kind of like the same standard as, uh, another Taifun store that's located in, uh, Serangoon North, uh, where they sell really good, fresh piping hot foods, freshly prepared, a lot of, uh, Taifun stores, um, because they, it's been prepared for some time ago, so it's not very, like, freshly prepared, so this one is uh, indeed fresh preparation and it feels pretty nice and very warms your um, warms the, the feels of your internal mouth 
Does that make sense? <laughs> but hey, another Typhoon stall that I also recommend, uh, speaking of Typhoon, is in the West region. Langchan makes vegetable rice. That's right. This one is, in fact, the um, the cheapest. I think it's the... Oh, no, I said it's actually the second cheapest uh, Typhoon stall uh, in Singapore that I have experienced so far. Uh, but this one's located in the West, uh, within the uh, Yihua Market and Hawker Center. Uh, uh, basically, the Yihua uh, Food Center. Langchan, big special, affordable Typhoon, nice food as well. Uh, this one is priced at uh, now it's three dollars. It used to be two fifty, so it would have it would have been same uh, equal uh, equally same price as the one in uh, Badok North, uh, which I think uh, I will recommend uh, some of these other stalls, which uh, is uh, good Taiwan and affordable as well. Um, in in the description below, uh, ones that I might have. Uh, I've mentioned in name but didn't didn't really show it here. But anyway, uh, this one the lamb chow mix vegetable. It, um, I've ordered the uh, two vegetable one meat set, and it is a it is a only three dollars. That's right, three dollars. But uh, the cheapest that they sell is uh, two fifty, which is uh, you either get uh, three vegetable or you get one vegetable one meat, which is uh, priced at two dollar fifty. But I preferably like to have uh, two vegetable and one meat. Uh, it's not very fun to uh, have food that don't have vegetable or don't have meat. I gotta have vegetable and meat. Though it's also fine to also, I mean, bare minimum to have uh, one vegetable and meat is fine. I think that's also fine for me. But I, I like more vegetable than meat, but I, I still need both vegetable and meat. So my preference is two vegetable and meat to, for Thai fun. And that would cost uh, $3. So pretty good. Three dollars for two vegetable one meat. It is pretty affordable at this economical price in this day and age, right? And by the way, this uh, pricing has only has uh, been like that since uh, since uh, for 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 some months now. I would say for a few months now. Actually, not just a few months. Almost uh, for a year now. It has been uh, sitting at that price, and it's pretty it's pretty affordable. So. Pretty affordable, and it is also piping hot, good food as well. Um, you order your Thai and your meat, and it's pretty tasty stuff. So, definitely. Uh, moving on to the South region. Uh, this one is very interesting. Um, I like this one, uh, this store at uh, ABC Brickworks Food Center. Uh, it's called the, uh, it's called uh, Dongji La Mian Xiao Long Bao. This is actually, uh, I ate the Zha Jiang Mian. That's right, you order the, I think it's number... If I'm not wrong, I think is it number eleven on the menu? Let me let me go and see. I, I think it's number eleven. If I'm not wrong. Uh no, it's not number it's number twelve actually. It's number twelve on the menu. Cost four dollars fifty cents for a Zhajiang Mian. A Zhajiang noodle. Um which is the which is the uh what do you call that? Bean I forgot what, how you call it in English. It's um it's basically minced pork with uh, sauce. Minced pork with uh with yes with sauce and and whatnot and i with noodle and uh they gave you cucumber as well slices of cucumber and uh occasionally i think uh, some sauce like such as this uh they also uh give a half egg braised egg i i would say uh this one is also really good good mian. the noodle is reasonably munchy uh, it is in fact very munchy Re or I, as i put it here it's reasonably munchy um, and it is pretty tasty. And I think, uh, I would say the Xiao Pao as well, uh, would also be very good. I, although I haven't actually tried it, but it looks pretty tasty too. Uh, so, I'm um, I'm actually really looking forward to actually try this, uh, out again in the future. Uh, this Xiao Long Pao, uh, potentially. Uh, but there's another stall that actually, um, that also sells, uh, Xiao Long Pao as well, and which I've actually ate, um, noodle there too. Uh, I, I'll also recommend that in the description below. I'll put that in the description below. Uh, but moving on to the central region. Do you call Topayo... Uh, is Topayo considered central region? I suppose so. I, I would think so. Because uh, Topayo is probably the most center... Probably like in the most center location in Singapore. <laughs> so, pretty fun. Uh, but I recommend this store called Grandmother Handmade Noodle. 
uh, at Kim Ki Palm Food Center. Uh, this one is in fact a also uh, this one is a, uh, I ordered the ban mian, uh, the chicken ban mian, which is priced at four dollars. Um, pretty thick noodles and uh, also very decent soup. Okay, uh, the soup is uh, indeed very filling. Um, noodles are pretty thick as well, um, and yeah, I think it, it re works pretty well. Uh, the the meat is also uh, reasonably feasibly well, I would say. Also very nice, um, very nice uh, <laughs> meat. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's also very good. Okay, I very much like this slaw as well. Uh, the pan mian uh, that they sell is pretty good, um, and and yeah, I think that's also that's one of the uh, places that I recommend in the central region. Uh, another place I actually want to recommend in the central region um, that I was I now I feel like I want to actually recommend now is this place called the Oishi Corner, also located within uh, the same place, Kim Kit Palm Food Center. Um, this is called Oishi Corner. It is in fact a halal Japanese corner. That's right. It's it's halal, everybody. And this one is um, this one I tried their um, uh, what do you call that? The number eighteen chicken katsu curry don. Uh, it is six dollars though, but it does taste pretty good as well. The rice is good. Um, the the chicken katsu is indeed um, has a good texture, so also pretty good. Um, I, I really apologize if, if this is like a bit like I cannot describe very very well this, but uh, I'm trying I'm 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 trying my best I suppose. Moving on to the east region, um, I really like this store at um, uh, Old Airport Road Food Center. Would that con be considered in the east? I suppose. So. Um, this is called uh, Golden Scissors Curry Rice. This one is uh, also. Uh, this one is cause um, you, you can order either the pork chop curry rice or the chicken chop curry rice. They have four sets over there. Uh, but this one actually works kind of like a Thai fun store as well. Um, but they dip, uh, they um, they give you curry, which is the point. You know, they give you curry, um, <laughs> like I said, which is the point. So, uh, but yeah, set two, set four. Uh, both are at four dollar twenty. Chicken chop curry rice, pork chop curry rice. They're very nice. Um, uh, yeah, very very nice as well. So that's uh, that's pretty good. So yeah, so that's for the golden scissors curry rice. Uh, but another uh, here's a bonus uh, stall that I would like to actually recommend as well in the east area, which is this one is called the this one is uh, literally called crispy roti prata. And I think this might actually be the one of the cheapest prata out there in the country, at least to what I, at least that's what I think, because uh, we got spring leaf prata and all these other prata stores that sell prata at like a dollar forty, dollar fifty. But this one sells it at initially it sold it at a uh, dollar for one plain prata, but now it costs a uh, dollar twenty. So due to inflation, what can you do about it, right? A dollar twenty, and this really holds true to its name. It truly is a crispy roti prata, so I can guarantee that for you. So, yeah, ten out of ten sure is crispy. Equal, yeah, it's actually equal, uh, equal standard uh, with uh, spring leaf prata. That is for sure. So, yeah, but I think uh, that's pretty much all the recommendations for this uh, for all the food places here. Uh, there are many more food places that I also recommend, but I think uh, I, I, I think it will just become a very long video for this. So, yeah, but I think that will be pretty much all. That's all the food places that I recommend. Uh, do check them out. Uh, give a good business and patronize. Uh, even though my description of uh, some a lot of these food may not be... Uh, my description for these foods may not really be uh, as exquisite and uh, very you know, unique in a sense, or very convincing, but I don't know, hopefully you guys check these stalls out, they are really, really good, okay, and uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, and uh, hope to see you in, i uh, rather hope to see you in, in these stalls, I don't know, <laughs> I, I, it's gonna be a bit awkward, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you in another video.